Tales. Hey friends, my name is Tilly. For today's story time, I'm going to read you a book called The New Kitten by Joyce Carol Oates, illustrated by Dave Mottram. Let's get started. Cherie was a fluffy gray adult kitty with a pink tipped nose, white and black whiskers, four white boots, which she kept extra clean, and a purr that was as loud as a motor. She was the only kitty in the Smith household, and she slept every night with little Jojo. One day, Jojo said, We will be bringing home a surprise for you, Cherie. Cherie thought, I hope it's my favorite tuna treat. Cherie had a little nest in a sunny upstairs window where she could watch birds and squirrels and switch her tail. Cherie saw the Smith family return home. Jojo was carrying something that looked like a very small doll, except that it was moving. Quickly, Cherie ran downstairs. She was astonished to discover, what was it? Cherie, look, a new kitten has come to live with us. Her name is Cleopatra. Say hello, Cherie. Cleopatra blinked and mewed so softly, you could almost not hear her. Her legs were very short and her tail was thin. Not at all like Cherie's big fluffy tail. She did not have soft, long gray fur like Cherie, but very short, smooth, shiny fur. She was so clumsy, she nearly fell over when she tried to walk. Jojo had always fussed over Cherie. Now, Jojo was making a fuss over the new kitten. That was not right. Cleopatra tried to approach Cherie on her stubby legs to touch noses, but Cherie did not like this at all and hissed. Everyone was frowning at her, which Cherie had not ever seen before. Cherie ran back into the house. Jojo's friends could not wait to see the new kitten. Oh, how pretty Cleopatra is! Look at those leopard spots. They laughed at how she chased the little purple ball and how she rolled over to show her spotted tummy. They laughed at how Cleopatra climbed up onto her cat tree, carrying a catnip mouse in her mouth. <laughs> they used to say that I was pretty too, Cherie thought, but now they don't care about me. When Jojo called her for supper, Cherie no longer came running and purring. At bedtime, Jojo had to carry Cherie to her bed so that Cherie would sleep with her. In the middle of the night, Cherie crept out of the room. Cherie did not like the name Cleopatra at all. Cherie did not like spots on a tummy. Cherie did not like the cat tree because it had not been purchased for her. Especially, Cherie did not like how the new kitten put her paws in the water bowl to wash them. That was wrong. You washed your paws with your tongue. That was correct. She was shocked that the new kitten played with her dry food as if it were some kind of beetle she had to leap and pounce on. If I spilled my food, I would be scolded, Cherie thought. Her tail swished and switched. Though it was forbidden for Cherie to climb into the dining room table, this is exactly what Cleopatra did. From there, she swatted at a mobile with cutout birds and brought it crashing down. The Smiths only said, Cleopatra is a kitten and doesn't know better. Everybody loved the new kitten. Cherie could not understand. 
Next, Cleopatra discovered how much fun it was to unwind rolls of toilet paper in the bathroom until the paper was all over the floor, torn and ragged. Cherie hurried to find Miss Smith to bring her to see what Cleopatra had done. Mrs. Smith laughed and took a picture. Soon after, when no one was around, Cherie pulled the toilet paper out onto the floor. She tore it and tore it. But Mr. Smith saw her and was not happy. Cherie, bad cat, that is naughty. Now all the bathroom doors were shut. It was clear the Smiths no longer trusted her. The new kitten was allowed to be naughty, but Cherie was not. Cherie could not nap any longer in her favorite places. No matter where she went in the house, the new kitten followed her. Go away! I don't like you, Cherie hissed. The new kitten blinked, but after a while, she began following Cherie again. It was especially upsetting to Cherie when the new kitten followed her to her favorite daytime place in the window. One day, Cherie found a new hiding place, she thought. First, in the upstairs hall, you made sure that no one was watching, especially the new kitten. Then, you pulled open a door with your claws. Then you climbed up the stairs into the attic. This was scary. Cherie was happy because she believed the new kitten would never find her. Suddenly, Cherie was wakened by Cleopatra playing with her tail. Cherie hissed and jumped down. But Cleopatra was too small to jump down. Cherie ran from the attic. She heard the new kitten mewing for help and thought, Good! <laughs> Cherie thought, I will run away. They won't miss me. Cherie found a downstairs window that was open just enough for her to slip through. She squeezed through a fence and went into the woods. She was very excited. There was so much to see and smell. A little white bunny rabbit hopped ahead of Cherie as if wanting to play. But when Cherie followed the bunny, she saw him go into the ground down a hole that was too small for her. That was not very friendly, Cherie thought. Next, little birds flew around her, cheeping. Cherie thought that they wanted to play, so she followed them deeper into the woods. But the little birds kept ahead of her, high in the trees. They began to chatter. Can't catch me! Can't catch me! They are not very friendly, Cherie thought. Now there were blue jays overhead. They screeched at Cherie and buzzed her by flying at her. Go away! Go away! We don't like you! Cherie ran to hide in a hole in a tree. She was very upset. Go away! Bad cat! I don't like you! It was an owl. A big snowy white owl that fluttered its wings and hoo hoo hooed at Cherie. Cherie ran and ran. But now she was beginning to worry that she could not find her way back home. Suddenly, she saw two little foxes rushing at her. Hiss! 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 We don't like you! Go away! Cherie did not understand why the foxes were so mean. Quickly, she climbed a tree to escape them. Cherie began to shiver, but there was a big moon in the sky, which helped her to see the smith's house. It was not so far away. I wonder if they miss me, Cherie thought. She thought of her tuna treats. She would be very happy to share them with a the new kitten. Cherie could hear a faint mewing. Was this Cleopatra? Cherie felt bad that she had left the new kitten on the rafter. She is just a kitten. 
And so, now that the unfriendly foxes had gone away, Cherie climbed down from the tree and made her way back home. Cherie hurried to the door and scratched and mewed. Why, Cherie, where have you been? Cherie hurried to help Cleopatra down from the rafter, showing her how to place her paws. Cherie did not shrink away when Cleopatra touched noses with her to thank her. Supper time that evening was special, for Jojo gave both kitties tuna treats. Cleopatra did not push her nose into Cherie's bowl or try to play with her tail. Bedtime was even more special, for both kitties slept with Jojo, who fell asleep listening to their purrs. The end. Thanks for reading today's story with me, friends. I'll see you next time. Bye.